What's up, guys? The man with the plan, the man with the news, the man with the wrestling knowledge. Get a lot of information from the World Wide Web, known as the Internet. And yeah, um, this video here is to follow up on my video on my brother channel, the Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I, I do have a plan, of course. Um, I want to thank everybody for all those kind remarks that were uh, given to me. Um, life can throw you curves every now and then, and you just have to learn to accept them. And uh, but sometimes that you, you you know those curves come at a time that you least expect them. So with that being said, um, you know I've got messages asking me if I'm quitting. No, I'm not quitting. Um, I need at least some time to, um, you know, take care of some uh, issues. I'm waiting for some results to come back, uh, which um, will make all the difference in the world, uh, in my eyes. Um, my blood pressure is very, very high right now. Uh, my stress level is very, very high. I... Um, you know, I try to keep up with uh, two YouTube channels, uh, two Facebook pages, and also a third, which I've sort of like neglected a little bit, and I feel guilty for that. But you know, just so many things that you know you're trying to do, and you know, it, it comes a time where you know you start burning out a little bit and, and whatnot. But um, uh, I plan on going away for a few days, getting away from the hustle and the bustle of the, the big city and, um, you know, trying to just get some relaxation and, um, you know, and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll pretty much know in a few days, um, how things are going to develop. So you know, I, I just need to get that blood pressure down and, uh, you know, go from there. But, um, you know, I suppose things could be worse, you know? But anyway, um, you guys are great here on YouTube, um, and um, it's, yeah, you know, I, I get lost for words sometimes, and that's really, for me, to be lost for words is really, is something totally out of the ordinary. Um, am I going to quit? No, I don't quit. I'm not a quitter. I never have been a quitter. I'm a fighter. And, um, you know, I'll continue to try to fight the battles that ensue me uh, in the future or whatever comes my way, you know. But uh, anyway, so with all that being said, again, I want to thank everybody for their kind remarks. Uh, Challenge Talks is, is, is a very good friend of mine, and he always has nothing but positive things to say, and I really appreciate that. I failed to mention his name and in the last video and I you know I failed to mention many others and I apologize for that uh, because I'd be here all day and and uh, but anyway um, so it's just gonna be a short hiatus hopefully um, you know would maybe pop in a video here and there uh, but I, I the the um, everyday stuff stuff really needs to slow down until you know, I, I just find out what, you know, actually is really going on. So uh, I was reading an article <clears throat> to change the subject down to, to wrestling. I was reading an article and, you know, and um, it was uh, by Vince Russo. He was talking about being in the WWE, being in WCW and TNA and, you know, how much hate he got. And, you know, the article really was a pretty good article. And, you know, he was stating, he said, you don't know how tough it is really to be a writer. Uh, for three promotions that really were unique in their own ways. Um, but um, he said, and it makes a lot of sense too, if something's not going right within a show where viewers are down or and ratings are down, you can change the script just like that the following week. He, like he was basically saying, most of the issues are outside of the ring. Um, and he was mainly talking about TNA and 
he was talking about their financial issues and he goes that's what's really slapping them in the side of the face and uh that is why we've seen a lot of um superstars you know not re-signed or let go by dixie carter uh and you know i agree with what he's saying i mean you know you can change a storyline in a heartbeat from one week to the next uh but it was an interesting article by vince russo um you know, the thing of it is, when you write for one wrestling company, and then you move on to another, you always have in the back of your mind what you did for the previous company, and those ideas sort of creep up on you, and you try to do the same thing with the company you're now working for, and I, you know, Eric Bischoff did that. Uh, Eric Bischoff had a great concept in WCW when he took over, um, when, you know, the NWO was formed, and uh, I think when he went to the WWE after the demise of WCW, you know, he tried to bring those ideas to the WWE, and that's my point. I mean, what works for one company doesn't always work for another, and really, in my opinion, you need to come up with something new, something fresh. Uh, but, you know, by bringing back something that may have worked and then it, it eventually ran its course, why would you think it would work in another promotion? So, uh, yeah, Vince Russo had some good stuff. I, You know, I'm not the biggest fan of Vince Russo, but I'm not a Vince Russo hater either uh, because I know what he did for the wrestling companies that he worked for and, you know, he did what he could to try to, um, you know, increase their value, increase their viewership, you know, increase their ratings and try to make them more money, which obviously would benefit him as well. So, um, but, uh, yeah, so we got three weeks in a row of really good stuff coming on. Um, next week we'll have Slammiversary on the 15th. And um, then I believe it's the 22nd. We have the Ring of Honor uh, pay-per-view. And then the following week, we'll have um, Money in the Bank. So three Sundays in a row. Uh, pretty cool. I mean, uh, so it's something to look forward to. And um, it will really uh, create a lot of um, buzz and enthusiasm. And it'll create a lot of entertainment, and it'll give people um, some ideas for um, making a video that, you know, that they know people will want to watch. So, anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, this is a Saturday. I have to work tonight. And I got a lot of things I got to take care of tomorrow before I take off for a few days. But, um, again, I just want to thank everybody. You guys have been great. And, um, you know... Like I said, you can't control a lot of things in life. There are things you can control, but there's others that just, um, you know, the good man upstairs, you know, only has the answers. So, you know, we just do what we got to do and um, we just try to learn to accept it, but we can battle to try and improve up upon it. So, all right, guys, peace out, everybody. Have yourself a great Saturday um, tonight. Um, Big Ray, Andre Corbeil, the um, Can-Am Wrestling Show, uh, usually 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Those you haven't seen it, watch it because it's well worth watching. And, um, you know, check out the Iceman's Wrestling Extreme, or Iceman's Extreme Wrestling. It's But it's called the Iceman's Wrestling Extreme page. Um, um yeah, we try to put up um, videos from other YouTubers, and, um, and you know, and we put up videos of our own, and you know, we just try to do little things here and there to try to keep people interested. So, anyway, babbled on too long. Peace out, everybody. Have yourself a great Saturday.